Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm just a fellow who loves beer, and today I'll be retasting my 268th different beer, Mountain Crest slash Min House Craft Breweries Boxer Ice. So a uh, goldy color off of that with some good carbonation. It's about a finger or so of uh, white head. It's dying down very quickly. Yeah. They were established in 1845 and operate of Monroe, Wisconsin. There's no product information on the can beside that it appears to be an ice beer. Uh, it's a lager and it was made with no preservatives. Off their site on 140416, Boxer Ice is made in small batches and is handcrafted using pure two-row barley grown and malted in bigger Saskatchewan. Uh, premium hops from the Pacific Northwest, deep well water, and our proprietary yeast. It is placed in cold storage, lagered, for a minimum of 35 days resulting in a clean, crisp, smooth-tasting beer. What? Making your beer, then placing it into cold storage, which is lagering, while it conditions and then being done with it, is just lagering the beer. You made a lager. Making an ice beer involves dropping the temperature to freezing, ice crystals appear and are separated out, effectively reducing the water and flavor content, and increasing the alcohol percentage. By their own admission, this is not an ice beer, as it's simply placed in cold storage for a time, not ice filtered or even cold filtered. On par with, here's your cheeseburger. I just didn't do the stage of putting the cheese in. Tasting notes they offer, Boxer Ice is a classic Canadian style dry lager. Bitterness is distinctively subdued and a slight malty aroma effervesces from the moderate foaminess with just a slight hint of sweetness. Uh, moderate foaminess. Okay. It's a golden color with light aromas of malt and grain. It has a pleasant hoppy bitterness and a clean, crisp finish. And food offerings. This is a refreshing lager beer that pairs well with medium to sharp cheeses, steaks, spicy sausages, grilled vegetables, and robust pasta dishes. The spear clock's in at 5.5%. Let's give it a try. Wow, it's, where's the candy wrapper? What I gathered from it, sweet aroma, apple juicy, ghost of grains, very juicy taste, sweet, light, mouthfeel, uh, but degrades into discordance. Uh, the unabashedly sweetness way overbalances the meager 0.5% alcohol bump. You're getting happy grains and light malt drenched in corn syrup. Light hops trying to make your acquaintance but are bullied out of the pitcher. On my metric system, I'll give it a negative one. Lacking. It's missing fundamental structure notes. It's not an ice beer and it falls short of mediocre, way overbalanced on the sweetness. The price by volume was good, and if you don't care about price, and if you don't care about that it's overly sweet, then you might love this beer. Everyone has a different palate, and I stand by the idea that you should try everything for yourself. Cheers.